it, this is a great angle, isn't it? But my <laughs> tripod's really short. Anyway, it's my first video um, showing you how to do some resining. So the painting that I've done is on wooden board. It's one of my floral designs. Oh God, I've said stuff. My contact lenses are crisping up. So you're gonna need some gloves. I use these black ones. Um, it's kind of the same ones as tattoo artists use. They're nice and thick. Um, and they're the only ones I've found that the resin doesn't kind of seep through. Silicon spatula, because with the bendiness, you can really scrape the side of this lovely little bad boy. Yeah, what else do you need? I picked this up in, you can get them in Argos, and then I think I got this online because I found it cheaper. You want something to perch your canvas or board on. You also want to make sure that your room is ventilated. I've got a window literally next to me. One of my favourite resins, Mastercast 121. P.S. Make sure you read all the instructions that come with whatever resin you buy um, because they do vary and some of them are a slightly more kind of toxic than others. Um, definitely avoid getting it on your skin and um, make sure you've got a window open. PPS, if you are buying Mastercast, on their website, they've got a coverage calculator, which is really handy. So you can do that first as well. And I've been doing resining for quite a while. So I'm now used to mixing my resin in one pot. So if I'm doing 400 mil, I'll top my resin up first to 200 mil, and then I'll add the hardener um, to make it up to 400. But you want to avoid doing that if you're not used to doing it. So what I do, this is just me, but I like to do a little blob in the middle. Big blob in the middle. Let it start to level. This one is massively um, bubbly today. It's probably because it's chilly in here. Then what I like to do is do a little bit around the edge. So I actually use my spatula. Start to go around. Give it another little torch. But I'm being really careful because my canvas is wood. I don't want to set that on fire, let's be honest. Now, other resin artists might totally hate me, but I'm a very hands-on person. As long as my gloves are completely clean, I like to actually move the resin around with my fingers first. Um, you can kind of feel where the resin's too thick and where it needs to be spread. And also, what, what else are gloves for? It's massively thick in the middle, so I'm just going to move it around. I also find if you use a really flat spatula, it just moves the whole lot right over. Whereas you can sort of be a bit more precise using your hands. Now, I want to take this resin over the edge, so I'm going to use, again, my hand. I've got to say, this is one of the most satisfying things you'll ever do. Popping bubbles on resin. So just showing you these epic edges. There's a condition that you can develop from being a resin artist and I think it's called resin bubble OCD. Still damn bubbles! So one thing I'm finding with the wood is I think that because wood is obviously a porous surface, it's got air bubbles in it that are coming out. Um, so that's one thing I guess to be aware of. Um, even though my, my wood is completely painted, 
it seems that bubbles do still come through. Um, I've just been watching it really closely and you can see little bubbles like emerging from the wood. Um, but yeah, it's turned out cool. All you gotta do now is, um, I've just gotta make sure that no dust falls on it. Um, you can actually create like a little, sometimes I use uh, a box the same size if your canvas is small enough like this one is, you can put a box over it and it just stops anything falling on top. If you like my tutorial videos, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, there's loads of stuff going on. You're gonna see my uh, antics that I get up to every day. I'm gonna do some acrylic pouring. So much room for activities. Morning. It's quite early. Um, it's not often I'll even speak at this time, let alone do a video. Um, but it's the festive season. It's really crazy. Um, so this is the only chance I've got to show you the finished product. And here she is. I also wanted to show you what this design was created for. And it's one of my thank you cards. So many people were asking me um, about the thank you cards and how the design was made. So um, I guess I kind of killed two birds with one stone and showed you how to resin. A wooden board as well as showing off the art itself so that's the first card i'll show you the other ones as well while i'm here um, there's four they come in a pack of 40. they've got this beautiful gold foiling right there that's card number two and these are all paintings done by me and created into a print so Oh, I've actually got this piece of artwork here. Let me show it to you. Can you see that? I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.